What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Weekly Indie Newcomer, the impression series where you and I hang out for a little bit and talk about an indie game that caught my eye over the course of the week. Today's game is Flame Over, which is a firefighting roguelike, which if nothing else, I'll give it points for being original. It appears as though these people didn't pay their protection money or something. It's a racket in this area. A firefighter, you'd think he'd be concerned about that back there, but he's pretty nonchalant about the fact that the city's burning down. And so he looks, he's got a grimace too. I'm assuming, yep, didn't pay their protection money. And so he's just like, eh, let it burn. He pulled an usher on those bitches. So anyways, let's play the game because this is one of those games that really has to be seen. You can't really describe it properly. It's it's odd. And so I think people that will like this game are largely going to be people that are really interested in like speed running. People that are interested in games that are a little bit intense because honestly fire is kind of scary and it makes me sweat profusely. I mean, I don't deal well with fires. It's not something that I'm accustomed to. We'll do the office building. Fire drill right here teaches you how to play the game. I already know how to play the game. All good. We will play the office. Or, you know, X office or whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, I got an upgrade token when I was playing last night. So we can increase the chance that we find hidden items. We can get the long lens. So basically, there will be randomly generated little questy things you can do in the middle of your firefighting attempt. And if you do them, if you take the time to finish them without the building burning down, you get a bonus token that allows you to actually pick up upgrades for your character. And so it's things like it makes... There's a guy that sells items in the middle of a burning building. I just... I don't even know how to talk about it right now. Obviously, very dedicated to the mercantile craft. Let's just continue. Finders keepers... Yeah, sure, why not? Finders Keepers, there we go. It costs us $1,000 too. Apparently we pay for everything for this fire department out of pocket. Municipality and taxes be damned, they said. Municipality and taxes be damned. Alright, well let's play. I like the music. Guys, the city is on fire. Let's solve this problem by printing out as much flammable paper as possible. Alright, so here we are in game. If you right click, I'm sorry, I know my different directions. If you left click, it shoots your hose. There it is. You want to shoot your hose all over the place. Never shoot your hose in the street though. The police might show up. Right click, you're going to be able to shoot like white fluids all over the place from your fire extinguisher just in case you're into that sort of thing. You can go down here and you can refill it. You can't get anything right. I think those are like sand buckets or something. I don't know. They're like kitty litter buckets. We can rotate with the middle mouse. If we press the Z button, it makes us throw a water bomb, which I didn't even know was a thing. The bottom left hand corner, you've got a temperature meter, which shows you where the nearest fire is, the amount of water water bombs that we have, the amount of fire extinguisher, the amount of water, and then a mini map. You've got the cash that you've earned from this run right here. It doesn't start until you go through the door. And so this timer right here, it actually, the game isn't over when you go through the door. It just means that a ghost spawns on the floor. And if the ghost touches you, you die instantly. So it's got a little bit of a spelunky feel right there. All right. So the first room, here we go. Well, I mean, the door is on fire. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and solve that. And oh my god. Okay, so this room is incredibly flammable. It appears as though they made the entire building out of match heads and like old napalm canisters. My god. So the black fires. You see the little black smoky fires over here? Oh, you see that thing around my body too that's flashing at me? That's basically, so the little meter that's filling up around our character, if it fills up completely, we lose a heart. That's all there is to it. Now, what's the difference? You see how there was that black smoke on some of the stuff that we put out? That's an electrical fire, and electrical fires can only be put out by your fire extinguisher, otherwise they reignite all by their lonesome. You can also disable those by finding a switch on the level that disables the electricity, and so that's probably the first thing we want to look for. Well... That is a literal fire door. There was fire behind the fire door. At least it did its job. You see those little fireballs they're firing around? That's how the fire spreads. It hits you, it deals damage, it increases your little fire meter. You can actually go through and you can spray the fireballs out of the air too if you're feeling especially Neo-like. I'm gonna get your matrix on. I lost my red bag, can you find it in a manager's office? The building is on fire, woman. Let's just contemplate this for a moment. Well, let's rescue this guy over here. This simple looking fellow. We'll take him back to the front door, and when you drop him off, you get extra time, and so I always like not being chased by ghosts if I can help it, so there it is. Another minute for us to take care of- oh, that fills up both of ours. Never mind, I thought it only filled up water. <laughs> the things that we learn out here today just made- <laughs> Splattercat knows how to play games. He pays attention to the mechanics that the game already explained to him. Look, there's a target behind that fire. How could you possibly miss? You can free aim all this. You see how that smoke's right there? That means we got a fire extinguisher. It Areas that have been covered with the fire extinguisher have a lot of trouble reigniting, so that can also help you keep from getting a lot of, like, spreading fires. Oh, we can search this cabinet. Sure. The right of looting. Obviously, that's something the fire department's allowed to do. What is that? A free heart? Well, hell yeah. I could always use another heart. 
This room looks like it just has normal fire. Even if the fire was special though, like its mom told it that it was special, I wet my pants at the first sign of danger, so even special fire would not be able to get through here. These pantalones, I assure you, are utterly inflammable. We're doing a pretty good job. We'll get the desk. There we go. We'll go on to this side. Awesome. I don't know if that means my pants are flammable. I don't know. I always get confused about things like that. Inflammable. It seems like easily, readily inflamed. I don't know. Whatever. Ooh. Ah, we found the red bag. And so now we want to turn in the red bag to this lady over here so that she will get the hell out of the burning building. People have the weirdest criteria sometimes. The weirdest criteria. If there's a, burn if there's a burning building, I'm flinging myself out of the closest window. I'm just letting you know. Just, I'm just jumping straight on out. Taking everything I can with me. All right, so you give me an upgrade token now. Alright, thanks. Here's an upgrade token. Pick it up to use it at the upgrade screen. Hell yeah. What is that supposed to be right there? It looks like some kind of voodoo mask. Hopefully it's a voodoo mask of me not catching on fire. That would be the best kind of voodoo mask. Preferably with some kind of modifier, like a plus three or a plus four attached to it. That'd make me pretty happy. Or of dragon slang. I mean, just add anything. Of the bear. I could use some extra vitality and strength or whatever. Drop her off for another minute. And then we'll get back into the building here. Now the fire appears to be mostly in this direction. Ah, the electrical system. There we go. So now we've turned off the electricity, which means there will be no more electrical fires for the remainder of the floor. That's a really, really good thing, because it feels like this entire building is made out of, like, straw, old wood, and anything else that randomly just bursts into flames if you sneeze on it. Let's go through here. All right. Can't stop the fire. Can't stop the fire without a hose. This hose is for hire. Pay me or I'll let you burn your nose. But da 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 Hmm, this is not going well. There are like fireballs flying around everywhere, and we're almost out of water. If there was one thing I would not want to run out of as a firefighter, it would be water. That seems like one of those very rudimentary things that you would like bring enough of it. Or why don't we just run a big hose into the building like modern people do? I don't know. This guy seems to be the most inept firefighter ever. After all, the entire town is like burning down on his watch. Or I don't even know. Maybe he doesn't even have a watch. I don't keep a lot of jewelry around, so I assume other people don't have watches. So get some water. There are random nodes laying around that you can get water from, but they're in the room that's on fire. So unfortunately, because the thing that we get water from is on fire. Yes, that's right. The water nozzle is on fire. The water nozzle is on fire. It's sort of like your aquarium catching fire, I guess. You'd be like, well, this situation has escalated, hasn't it? These little guys will lose. Oh, there's a kitty. I will throw- you better get out of the way, mustachioed man. I will throw you into the flames to make a shield for the kitty. I'm just letting you know. I'm just being real about it right now. Yeah, the water container was on fire right there. The water cooler was on fire. So the next time Ted comes by, he's like, Man, the water cooler was on fire today. He's not talking about local company gossip. He's talking about the fact that somebody literally managed to set a polymer encasing around water on fire. How do you do it? I don't know. Managed to do it somehow. This is one of my problems with the game right now is that their follow radius they fall off very, very easily. Either way, though, since it's a kitty, we're going to give him a pass for right now. I don't even know. The kitties give you health, I think. They don't actually give you time. So when you rescue a kitty, you get to cuddle it, and it fills your heart with warmth and happiness and all of those wonderful, jovial feelings that you would hope to be bequeathed upon you by the presence of a kitty. I don't know. My kitty leaves me presents, but most of them are in the litter box. Let's see what we can accomplish here. And over on this side, we will... Oh, X does water bomb. Never mind. I had the wrong... Oh my god, it spread in the next room and we just lost heart. That tends to happen when you're on fire. When faced with sentient flamethrowers, I tend to lose heart as well. Come on. All of you unignite. I demand that you all go away and stop filling up my meter. We lost a couple of hearts right there. Our heart is inflamed with a passion for the destruction of the fiery arts. There we go. Fantastic. Now that that room's finally done, my god, that was an ordeal. Remind me to never be a firefighter. Or at least remind me never to be an inept firefighter. What's in here? A water- Oh, it hit the wall. Damn it. Alright, well a water bomb is what's in here. We're almost out of water. So somehow here, I need to refill my water supply. Good. There was a water receptacle on the wall. I don't know if you noticed it. It's all marked on your map. So you can actually like plan out your trips based on the resources that are available to you. Which actually, sometimes they're in really weird spots though too. All right, more stuff. Why is the phone ringing right now? Will somebody get that? Obviously, they're trying to call it an... Oh, never mind. That's just the rest of... That's why the entire town was on fire at the opening of the game. He never answers his phone. His voicemail's full. That happened to me last week. I was like, oh my god, that explains why nobody's been calling me. My voicemail is full. I was like, what a remarkably calm week. Maybe I could finally retire. Nope. Well, on the plus side, that TV is on fire. I mean, the programming is hot right now on that network. Still, the positioning of this TV seems a little bit odd. 
I'm assuming maybe they put it behind the secretary's desk so that maybe, like, people in the waiting room could watch it, but the secretary can't? I don't know. Fire door! Which, surprisingly, you don't really fire anything at you. More chop, but they should call it a chop door, but whatever. This guy is on fire. Is this your fault, sir? Is this your fault? I'm like, yeah, there's that new brand of flammable coffee that I was playing around with. Surprisingly, it performed exactly to manufacturer's specifications. A little bit weird. Wasn't expecting that. I don't know, I thought it was a gag gift, but nope. It seems like it was fairly dangerous. I'd be like, all right, sir, since you are the origin of the storm here, I'm gonna let you know, stop playing with fire. You're not intelligent enough to handle the responsibility. Let's take this back up in here, get another minute. Is that everybody? And this is where your thermometer comes in. You've actually got to use this to figure out where the fires are at once you get down to the last couple rooms. Let's take a look. Nope, it's not that way. It looks like it's this way. There we go. All right. Finish off the last few remaining. Oh, there is another guy in here. He's got red on him. Well, he's got black on him too, but that's mostly charring. Let's grab him right there. Can I search any of these cabinets or whatever for extra loot and treasure? That makes me happy. I like treasure. Loot is one of my favorite things in the whole world. If you said, what thing about gaming do you appreciate most, Splattercat? I would be like, the loot. I love looting receptacles. It's fun. Let's bring you back this way by waving my hand. I will point out that this guy does have an awesome mustache, although I would think that that would put his lip at a very, very high risk for, like, burn damage. And it's not even his lip, either. They gotta get the skin from his ass every single time he burns off his mustache. He doesn't survive by the skin of his teeth or the skin of his lip. He survives by the skin of his ass, and when he runs out, who knows what will happen. It'll be severe. Next, and you actually, you kinda just go for as long as you want to. I don't know. I've never made it to the end. I end up losing somewhere around the third or fourth floor every single time. These are electrical fires, which means I need to do this properly. There we go. Electrical fire is all nice and taken care of. Sprint out this way. We'll get rid of that right there. We only have two hearts left, so I would suggest that we be very, very careful. You want to prioritize getting rid of all of the electrical fires because they are going to limit your ability to clear out a room. If you don't get the electrical fires first, you are making your life so much worse. It's multiplicative, too. You're not making it like plus five worse. You're making it like times ten worse. So make sure you get rid of them as soon as you can. So there it is. We've got two rooms cleared out. This looks like the electrical room, so that gives us a nice early opportunity to get rid of all of the electrical fires, which is precisely what you want to prioritize. No fire bomb. Oh, it's a store. Welcome to my shop. Buy something expensive. Why are you selling things when the building is on fire? Are you really that broke? A heartbeat sensor. Thermal goggles. I've never used those before. Let's use those. So what do these do? Can I not use them right here? I would like some more water bombs. Thank you. Some more water bombs sound fantastic. That and a heartbeat sensor. Okay. Well, let's get back to work here. We can swap in between these, I think. Yeah, you can swap in between. And then it looks like you use them somehow. Oh yeah, it lets you know where people are. Look at our map now. There's a kitty in this room! I shall save you, kitty, for you are the most adorable thing in all of the land. I shall brave the flames for you, lovely little fluffkins. Oh, we only got a minute left. Hold on. Alright, we got a guy in this room too. I'll get the kitty in just a second. I'm actually, let's throw a water bomb in here just to clear this out real fast because we are going to need a little bit more time before we can effectively take care of this place. Let's get that done right there. God, the flames are spreading at such a rapid rate and I just lost my last heart. No! It's because it popped in that flame behind me. Dicks. This sentient fire is really starting to bother me. Alright, never mind. We'll just take all these people back. Kitty, come along with me. Everyone, no, don't get caught up on a chair, you idiot. Let's get back here. Like, well, this chair is so fascinating, though. Look at it. Look at the weave. Look at the way that the tapestry moves across the back of the chair. It's got pictures. It's so gorgeous. So I'm going to try and focus like, I don't know. Maybe I should not do that right now. Let's get some more of that. Ugh, I got to hold a refill. All right. Let's hold it on down, even though the room is right there where I could refill the full instantly. Why not? That seems like an efficient way to use my time. There we go. Hopefully the fire hasn't spread in between these rooms. It happens from time to time. There we go. Let's get rid of you so that you don't cause any more problems. We're almost out of time here, though, so obviously we'll want to take care of that, too. That room's looking good. We need to find as many more humans as possible. We got a fire. The fire door is on fire. Irony. Irony. All right. I usually, what I like to do is, if you're wondering, you've actually kind of got a... Nope! Oh, we had health left because I turned the cat back in. Good. Awesome. God, if I knew that money came from flames... See, people say money doesn't grow on trees. It does, however, grow inside of fires. So I need to set more shit on fire. That's what I learned today. 
I will be rich if I set things on fire. There we go. So another room taken care of. Let's get rid of these little flames over here. See if we can rescue a human because we have five seconds left. Human, come along with me. I demand that you follow me to the exit, sir. And so now there's a ghost in the building, which is bad. Really, really bad. Doesn't matter, because as long as I bring this guy back and he doesn't get stuck on anything, we should be okay. Come on, get inside of here. I am terrified of ghosts. Fire means nothing to me. I enjoy it. It's everything to me. I'm obsessed with it, but ghosts... Nope, ghostesses I am not down with. I should have refueled my stuff while I was down here, shouldn't I have? Well, let's go back. Nope, you suck. I don't want to use you. You're terrible. I'm going to use this over here. There we go. Hey, refill. I demand that you refill right this moment. There we go. It's an order from the Splattercat and the Nerd Kingdom. I'll raise that over there. Back up a little bit because we only have one heart left and it appears to be on fire. Alright, we can loot something. Oh, never mind. I opened the door before I got rid of the flames and it deals damage if you do that because I didn't see the flames on it. I thought that I was looting something in the corner and in fact, I was dying from fire. I got it confused. Those two things frequently quite similar, but we got another upgrade thing, so we should be able to buy some good stuff. I love the presentation in this game. The presentation is absolutely fantastic on the menus and in between. I feel like everything is really represented properly. Let's go next, I guess. And then on this side, we've got... We'll play again. Do the office. And now we should have two upgrade things. Yes, and now we should be able to buy that good shit. And so if I go right here... That'll get rid of those. Magnifying lens duration lasts four seconds. I don't know what that is. Tough enough, fireproof, rapid refill, cost cutter, bonus bombs. Well, never mind then. We've got 2,000 right there. I don't know what long lens does, but I don't know. Maybe it helps out somehow. I don't have enough money, though. Public funding's a bitch, isn't it? All right, straight into the breach once more. Usually, when a government official gets into somebody's breaches, they get fired, but for me... When I go into the breach, I get rewarded with bonus cash. There was $5 in that fire right there. Ooh, a free water bomb. Yes, please. I like water bomb. Let me extinguish that real fast to make sure that it's up out of the way. We have a number of flammable things going on in this room. There we go. I'm not going to take you just yet. I'm going to try and get everybody... Oop. Let me steal your stuff, though. Hey, bonus time. Hell yeah. All right. We'll get up in this room. What we're looking for right now is the electrical main, if we can. I'm going to use the fire extinguisher real fast. Let's jump out of the room to get our meter down. Let's see what we can accomplish here. Use my fire extinguisher. Get rid of some of this stuff. Yep, don't catch back on fire, please. I would love it if you would stop spreading. I know that made you popular in high school, but it's not going to work here. We'll go back on this side. Get rid of you. Awesome. Okay, so we got this room finally taken care of. This room is also on fire. I seem to see a common decorating motif here. Everything's on fire. What if when we decorate the building, we set it all on fire? It'll be an artistic revolution. Nobody will know what hit him. Well, aside from fire, she left her bag in a meeting room. Okay. That's the room where the CEOs actually consume the flesh of the living so that they can imbue themselves with the power of the open free market and cash guzzling. Let's jump back up inside of here. All right, two more minutes back on the clock. That also gives us a little opening to go through and get some more fluids to spray on all these random burning objects. Let's see if we can go through here. I said it was in a meeting room, huh? All right, so a lot of electrical fires in here. That is going to be an issue. I'm going to throw fire bombs over there. I didn't mean to throw that fire bomb there because the controls seem to lock up for a second when you throw a fire bomb. I don't know, maybe to keep you from spamming them. I don't know. Oh, about to lose a heart. Oh, we made it pro so pro right now all right so the electrical fire's got to go right this second let's get those out of our hair here are those flames we just lost a heart but it was necessary electrical fire is back up and running yikes we need to find this electrical room really badly oh and we're dead again we're dead again all right well we'll give it another go here Let's see if we can give this another run through. I think it'll be fine. We'll get rid of this little fire over here. One thing that I would say is that the fireballs, they tend to be more than you can deal with some of the time. Like, one of the things that I've noticed through playing the game over the last couple hours is that rooms that have a lot of fireballs flying all over the place are almost, like, impossible to deal with sometimes. Like, it's actually, you can get an impossible room in this game based on, like, what you currently have. You stop that right now. 
Looks like their server racks are on fire. Shouldn't this room be a little bit, well, I guess that, ooh, hard drives over here brings a whole new meaning to burn this to disk now, doesn't it? Let's get this over to here. All right, we'll bring this back around. Drop you guys off, get my free health along the way because kitties are adorable. See, like this room right here, I wouldn't even mess with this room until you find the electrical main. It's just not going to work out for you. It's going to be bad. Now, the fire may spread through that door, so we probably want to hurry about this. There's the electrical main in there. He all about that electrical main. Let's go on this side. All right. Save myself a little bit here. Try and keep that meter down for just a second. Yep. Get that fire all nice and extinguished. Get rid of the electrical fire. Maybe run to a corner where there isn't flames so that I'm not constantly on fire here. Let's get rid of those. It's going to spread back over to this side. We have an electrical fire right there that needs to go. And then you should be the final one, right? All right. Nope. What was on fire over here? It said it's an electrical fire. Ah, the laptop was adding to our injury. So let's open that door up. Electrical main is now down, which should make our life a little bit easier, provided that I have the superb and almost deific ability to pay attention. You guys know that I lack that. So this might get a little bit rowdy. That room's good. Is there anything we can steal from in here? The right of loot is mine, for I have saved your building. Therefore, I get to take spoils. The spoils of your cabinets. It's mostly just paper and other flammable stuff, but you know what I mean. We'll hold this down and refill real quick. There we go. Looking good. We can actually refill our... There we go. Our little extinguisher from that side, too. Now that the electrical fires are all gone, we will be in much better shape. We'll use a firebomb right there, a water bomb. I guess a firebomb will make this whole situation worse. There we go. Get rid of you, my flame-spewing friend. On this side, we got a fire axe, which is holding back. Looks like a bulkhead, actually, like they would have on a spaceship. It's holding back the flames. Good. At least something's helping out with my job. I'm not self-sufficient like that. I can't do it all on my lonesome. I'm gonna write an emo song about how I just couldn't do it. That lady's gonna burn to death, so I need to, like, take the hit and save her. Please stop burning to death. Oh, you burned to death. See, I told you, instead of being... You should have been proactive and gone towards the side of the room that was not on fire. Apparently, logic is too difficult in this situation. Later on, we can actually use a defibrillator on her, too, to fix the issue, but... Let me swap on over to this right here. There we go. With two hearts left, we'll try and get the rest of the room done. She is dead as hell, isn't she? Dead as hell. Hell seems like it'd be kind of lively, though, with the fire and everything. Is that the entire room done? Nope, there's a little bit more over here. All right, let's get it all. Sometimes it's really, really difficult to see, and actually, they've kind of, what they've done with the design of the game is they've blamed that on the player. So instead of making it so that the camera angle is such that you can see everything in the room, they've just been like, well, just rotate your camera. It's for added difficulty, and I just, I have trouble buying that. They could have just tilted the camera a little bit better and zoomed it out a tad farther, and it would have worked a little bit better. And then there would be no need to rotate at all. Still, I guess it's a design decision. I don't necessarily have to agree with it. It's just one of those little things that I've noticed along the way that I'm like, mm, I'm pretty sure you just didn't want to zoom out a little bit further. I don't know. Let's go over to this side. I don't know what picking up an axe does just yet. Like, I don't know if it makes your axe better or, like, what that accomplishes. I haven't played around with it a whole lot. I've picked up a lot of axes, and as of right now, I think it lets you chop down doors faster or something. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to go into this room, rotate it this way. We're going to make ourselves a safe corner. A couple of fires trying to spread over here, though, too. How many water bombs do I have left? Not enough. Alright, so for you... Let's get out of the flame real fast. We'll hose those off. Trying to spread over to there. That was a pretty long firing flame, too. You know you got a problem when fire is shooting at you. That becomes a major, major problem. Am I out of... Oh, my God. I thought I was at a flame retardant for a second. I was like, no! My retardants have run dry. All I could wish for in this world was just a little bit more retardant. Just a little bit more retardant. Alright, well, this room seems to be easy peasy enough, and it's got treasure. Ah, the red handbag for the dead lady we were supposed to rescue. Once again, not so good at doing our job properly, but sometimes you gotta break a few eggs. That freestanding TV seems to take up space, especially given the fact that there's a blank space right there. You could have just pushed that back. Apparently somebody didn't consult with Magnolia Home Theater before they installed. So what's left here? It looks like it's on this side of the building. Let's go track it down, shall we? And... Where's the one? Oh, it's got to be on the opposite side of the wall. Let's go around. We got this. We got this covered. Let's do this thing. Ugh. 
Another man on fire here. Somebody tell Denzel somebody's taking his space. Denzel is like the last person I would ever want to make angry. He just seems like he would hurt you. Freely and quickly. You come with me. And we're going to clear out one more room, shall we? Throw that in there and just hope that it works. Yep, I'm hosing all of you. Oh, good. Now we don't have to worry. Well, maybe we do have to worry about ghosts still. I don't know. We got to get to the exit, so hopefully we can get there. If you guys get stuck on anything, take your doorways very wide in this game because these little guys get stuck all the time and it'll drive you nuts. All right. A little bit more bonus time. Right, see right there. You take your corners very, very wide. In we go. So anyways, I like the game so far. It's been an enjoyable experience. I'm glad that it was sent on over, and I ha I definitely want to get to reviewing it. So let's talk about what I do and don't like about the game, shall we? I actually, I kind of find it a bit ironic that I find Flame Over to be a really cool twin-stick game. And like, the vast majority of what's being put on offer here is both unique and solid. I absolutely love the presentation in between levels, and I really, really hope that there's more of that. If the game ever gets DLC or expands a little bit, I absolutely fell in love with the cartoon graphics, and I would love to see a lot more. In terms of substance, I could see quite a few people really getting into this game, and while I'm really, really bad, at it, there's a definite skill to picking your hose shots and choosing which rooms to enter in what order before deciding who gets rescued versus who gets left behind. Just let them burn. The time aspect of the game is pretty generous. I, I usually don't like time attack games. I tend to avoid them, but this one they give you enough time to get stuff done. But what I like the most is the fact that you don't die instantly when time runs out. Instead, you die when the ghost reaches you and chases you down. And I've had several really, really thrilling like last minute saves during my time with the game. The soundtrack is delightful. Graphics are very, very well done, and the cutscenes almost feel a little bit like something that Clay Entertainment would include. And believe me when I say that's by no means small praise. I do wish that there was a larger list of upgrades, and I wish that they affected more of your attributes, so things like your movement speed or like water effectiveness or something like that. And I found a few of the gadgets to be kind of like odd to use, and that would be the water bomb specifically. I don't know if it was something I was doing wrong, but I always had trouble getting them. Sometimes they seem to arbitrarily hit desks and break, whereas other times they seem to go over them. I don't know, but I think maybe with a little bit more practice, it shouldn't be hard to lock down. I think it might just be operator difficulty. The camera can be pretty finicky too, but part of me thinks that that might be by design rather than by accident, because in the tutorial, they, speci like, they specifically bring up in the tutorial that you're supposed to be moving the camera around a lot. And so I think that it might be possible that the blind angles were included purposefully, but still, I struggled with the camera a couple times just based on the way the game controlled, and so I figured I'd mention it on the way past. If anything you've seen here today got you heated, hot-blooded, or otherwise has you melting, I don't think that I would have a problem throwing a recommendation towards Flame Over. It's a really unique little title, and I think that's rare in the roguelike genre. Roguelikes tend to be fairly stagnant, and they tend to do kind of like the same thing, just with like a minor tweak. I really like how they sat down and they thought about it, and they were like, well, what if you were a fireman? fighting fires instead of going in and fighting monsters and things like that. How could we make this work as a game? And I think that that should be rewarded. I think that's a pretty good call. You can grab the game on Steam down below. It's $11.99 once the game comes out. If you pre-order it, you can get it for $7.19. The game comes out on the 28th, so you got plenty of time to do it. Or you can grab it for the Vita if you wanted to take your little fireman routine mobile. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at Weekly Any Newcomer to take a look at Flame Over. Weekly Any Newcomer is a series that I do a couple times a week where we take a look at an indie game and I give my thoughts, impressions, or some light review commentary on it. I will see you all next time. Take care, everybody, and hi-do.